What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. It is Monday, it is the start of the week, and I am determined to freaking make this week a great one. I wanna call I wanna kill a workout today, it started off strong, so I'm gonna be starting the week off with some glutes. Hey, why not not be able to walk the rest of the week, you know? Right? Am I right? <laughs> So if you guys want to continue watching, then you're going to see me die. I hope that you guys like today's workout. As always, it will be written in the description box for you guys to screenshot and try on your own. If you do try it, come back and let me know how it went. Remember that I love you. I have your best booty in mind. I have my best booty in mind. I've been doing a lot of spin lately and it's kind of looking flat. We gotta, we gotta fix that. <laughs> so I hope that you guys like it. Don't forget to show your support by giving the video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe so you don't miss another one. Full day of meetings coming at you guys next. I recorded that yesterday. Let's go work out. Welcome to today's workout commentary, everybody. I hope that you are having a fantastic day or night, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> to start off this leg day, I always, 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 for every single leg day workout, start off with a hamstring exercise. The reason for that is that the quads are a lot bigger muscle than the hamstrings, and they need a bit more attention to detail, and just, they need a little bit more TLC. If you're like me, you are very quad dominant, so they can easily take over pretty much every exercise. So I always like to start off with the hamstring exercise, give them the attention they deserve, and that has made the world of a difference in my leg development and how my hamstrings look. Starting off with either a seated leg curl, lying leg curl, or Romanian deadlifts, yeah, it's definitely been game changing. So I did a couple warm up sets with the bar and then I went into my working sets. Make sure that you take time to warm up properly until you feel warm, walk on the treadmill, do some warm up sets, stretching and all that good stuff, and then get into your working sets. So I'm doing three sets of 12 reps here. Make sure that you are coming down as far as you can while keeping your back straight, keeping the bar close to your shins, getting in a good stretch in the hamstring and squeezing your glutes on the way up. Woo, that was rough. Let me tell you, I was extra sore after this workout, so just prepare yourself, guys. Little fun fact about me, squats are my least favorite exercise in the entire universe, but that doesn't mean that I neglect them completely just because I hate them. Obviously, there are other exercises that I prefer doing that are just as effective in building a booty, but I don't want to neglect it just because I hate it. So we're doing some squats, making sure that I came down to a 90 degree angle and pushing through my heel and squeezing up at the top. And guess what? Because I hate them, I made myself do four sets. And that's how you know that you have good self-discipline. Moving on to the next exercise. We're doing some dumbbell Bulgarian split squats. This exercise is highly effective for creating that top shelf, which is the glute medius. It's that upper part of the glute and then the glute maximus. So I find that I definitely definitely feel this at that top part of the booty there that gives you that round plump look. It's been a game changer. It's also very important to make sure that you do single leg and single arm exercises. We all have a more dominant side, a stronger side, a bigger arm, a bigger leg, or a side that we just can balance better on. So I would advise you guys to make sure you're doing single leg or single arm movements so that the stronger side does not overcompensate for the weaker side and you can make sure that you have good symmetry. Moving on, we went on to the incline leg press. I love the incline leg press. I love the position that I can angle myself and how I put my feet up on the press. What would we call this? The the press, <laughs> uh, how I put it, my feet up there will determine where I feel it most, whether it's in my quads or if I feel it in my glute, glutes, glutes. <laughs> I find that when I put my feet up in a high and narrow foot position like I am right here, higher up on the press and a little bit like shoulder width apart, I feel it more in my glutes rather than if I have my feet down lower on the press, I feel it more in my quads. So I did three sets of 15 to 20 reps there, and then I went back into a single leg exercise. I am obsessed with reverse lunges, and doing a 
high knee also activates more core. So the reverse lunges I find work more of your hamstrings while and the glutes while the front lunges work more of your quads. Now that's not to say that they don't both affect your quads and your glutes because they do but it's just where I feel it the most. I have found that the reverse lunges have been highly effective for hamstring development and then it's always nice to just make it a full body exercise challenge yourself with stability. Moving on, we did some barbell hip thrusts because what is a glute focused workout without barbell hip thrusts? I was dying there. I was like, don't make me do it. I'm sweating my face off, but I did it. I did it. <laughs> and it's not demonstrated in this video, but you guys can switch up your foot position for this exercise too. I highly recommend just playing around with different foot positions because you target different areas of the muscle. I also want to note how I'm pushing through my heel and my toes are coming up off the ground. That is how you keep the tension in your glutes. For foot position ideas, you could do a more neutral one, which is what I'm doing, a sumo one, which is where your feet are wider apart, a more narrow stance where they're quite close together. And as a glute burnout, we're doing froggy kicks on the bench. So position yourself comfortably where your hip flexors are not getting dug in by the bench. And then squeeze up at the top with your glutes and do absolutely as many as you can of these until your glutes are in knots. And then you can fall over and give yourself a pat on the back because you killed it. Make sure that you guys stretch, and that is going to be it for this workout. All right, guys, so you have reached the end of the video. Hope you guys liked it. I just wanted to let you guys know that I actually, I'm actually so excited to announce this. I actually just launched my macros ebook, and that is now live on my website. If you guys feel like you are being held back from making the progress that you want to see in the gym because your nutrition is kind of all over the place and you don't know how much you should be eating, you don't know what you should be eating, or you might know your macros and you don't really know how to structure it throughout the day, then this book is for you. Or even if you want help learning how to calculate your macros with something super, super visual that you'll have forever. So if you guys want that, I actually created a discount code for you as well for 35% off to my YouTube fam. It's only $20, so with the discount code, you guys will get it for like $12.99. So that is it, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Mwah.